I'm happy that we have taken this approach in addressing this problem. My ministry is the one that bears the brand of the issues that we are discussing here, Your Excellency. Some of us may look at it narrowly, just as a drug and an alcohol abuse problem affecting an individual. Yet this is a problem for the community, Your Excellency. If you look at the incidences that we have, Your Excellency, around teenage pregnancy, they are caused by people who most likely engage in drug and alcohol abuse. Your Excellency, we look around issues to do with sexual and gender-based violence. Most likely, they will be caused by somebody or someone who is engaging in drug and alcohol abuse. And what's of it all, Your Excellency, if you look at the issues around HIV AIDS, the spread of HIV AIDS, once individuals are in drug and alcohol abuse, they drop their guns on protection. And that is how we end up with the spread of HIV AIDS amongst our population. Your Excellency, last year, as a ministry, we spent a whole 75 billion shillings on management of HIV. Your Excellency, 75 billion shillings if we did not have HIV in this country, that can build for me over 1,200 health centers at a rate of 70 million per health center, Your Excellency. Those 1,200, if we spread them all uh, across the counties, it means that each county will at least get 22 health centers to take care of the health needs of our citizens, Your Excellency. So this issue is bigger than just that individual who is taking alcohol or abusing drugs. By the way, Excellency, we rank number 11 in the world on HIV AIDS. So anytime we go to global meetings to discuss HIV and AIDS, I discuss with my face looking downwards because we rank very high. So we must do something about alcohol and drug abuse. As a ministry, do we have a solution? Yes, we have some solution. One, Your Excellency, we have to support our regulatory institutions, starting with pharmacy and poisons board. That the law enforcement officers that we have must work closely with pharmacy and poisons board. That once they close a facility, it remains closed without being reopened by anyone. If that support is there, I'm sure we play a big role. Your Excellency, we have a second solution and is in the new community health promoters that we commissioned. 107,000 the whole country excellence. There is no village that does not have a community health promoter. These people, we have given them smartphones, your excellence. One, we want them to use those smartphones to also identify these people within the community who are using alcohol and drug abuse. So that then our solutions can be targeted to specific numbers. 